Imagine the shockwaves across the auto industry when a CEO steps on stage and confirms that their most secretive, most talked about engine isn't just a rumor, it is real. That is exactly what Mercedes has done. The company has finally revealed that the Yasaflux engine exists. An engine once whispered about in hushed tones is now front and center. This is not just any motor. Early reports claim it is so powerful and so radically different that giants like Tesla, BYD and Toyota could soon be losing sleep. If this engine makes its way into production cars, the entire game, petrol, diesel, and even today's electric batteries, could be flipped on its head. So, what is the Yasaflux engine? Think about it. Whenever we talk about cars, the first thing that comes to mind is the engine. Once petrol and diesel ruled the roads, then the era of electric cars took over. But today, the name making the most headlines is the Yasaflux engine. Mercedes has revealed it, and discussions about it are spreading all over the world. But what exactly is this engine, and why is it considered so special? Let us break it down in the simplest terms possible. Yasa is a British company that originally developed this engine technology before Mercedes took it under its wing. Flux simply means magnetic flow. Now understand this. Electric motors work on the interaction of electricity and magnets. Normal electric motors, which we call permanent magnet or induction motors, are thick and bulky. They take up more space and weigh a lot more. But the magic of the Yasa Flux engine is that it is very small, lightweight, and extremely powerful. Its design is called axial flux. Now, what does axial flux mean? Let us put it in simple words. A normal motor rotates like a cylinder, while an axial flux motor rotates like a flat disc. In other words, instead of being a thick cylinder, this motor is like a thin round plate. The same question is being raised today about Mercedes's Yasa flux engine. From the information that has come out so far, it is clear that the flux engine will currently be installed only in luxury and high-performance cars. The biggest reason for this is its initial cost. Being a new technology, its production cost is high, and companies would like to install it first in those vehicles where the price is already high. But this does not mean that it will always be expensive. As mass production begins and the research cost is recovered, this engine can also reach affordable cars. Now, let us talk about the challenges of manufacturing. The design of the flux engine is as unique as it is difficult to make. Companies have been manufacturing ordinary motors for decades, but the production of an axial flux motor is completely new. It requires very precise magnets and coils, and it is not easy to connect and balance these machines. Mercedes may have the technology, but if it has to be installed in hundreds of thousands of vehicles, then it will have to prepare for mass production. This is the biggest challenge. Along with this comes the stress of raw materials and supply chain. Flux engines require rare earth elements such as neodymium magnets, and their supplies are already limited to China and just a few other countries. If the demand for flux engines increases, the shortage of these metals may grow further. This will increase prices and put pressure on companies. To deal with this problem, Mercedes will have to find new suppliers and perhaps also pay more attention to recycling technology. Now, the question arises, when and how will the Yasa flux engine arrive in future cars? Mercedes is currently preparing to bring it in its luxury sports cars and high-performance models. Flux engines can be included in vehicles like their AMG series. So, its advantage in SUVs will be that despite being a heavy vehicle, the flux engine will give you more torque and more power, making the driving experience of the SUV even more engaging. At the same time, the use of flux engines in sports cars will make them capable of competing with vehicles like Tesla's Model S Plaid. Flux engines can also bring a big change in trucks and commercial vehicles. Heavy vehicles need more power and torque, and flux engines deliver more power despite being lighter, which means that electric trucks and buses will hit the roads with more range and power than before. If we look at the picture after 2030, the flux engine can become the new standard of the EV industry. Just like today every company uses lithium-ion batteries in its cars, in the coming time every company could move towards motor technology like flux. It is possible that in the coming seven to eight years, this technology will become so common that even affordable electric cars will start getting flux engines. But here, a big question arises, one that hangs over every major technological announcement. Is this truly the future of the EV industry, or is it merely another ambitious corporate promise destined to be diluted by the harsh realities of production and the market? The long and storied history of the auto industry is littered with revolutionary concepts that, upon reaching the public, failed to deliver on their initial earth-shattering hype. 
We've seen hydrogen fuel cells perpetually remain five years away, revolutionary battery chemistries that never scaled, and game-changing engine designs that were quietly shelved after proving too complex or costly to manufacture at scale. So, the true crucible for the Yasa axial flux motor, honestly will not be the controlled environment of a research lab or the dazzling glow of a press conference stage. The real test will begin when it is actually fitted into the vehicles of everyday customers and put through the unpredictable, often unforgiving, conditions of real-world use. How will it perform after 100,000 miles of daily commutes, harsh winters, and scorching summers? How will its unique components hold up to wear and tear? And what exactly will be the cost and complexity of maintenance and repairs? And then, will the supply chain for its specialized rare earth magnets prove resilient, or will it become a bottleneck that stifles mass adoption? These are the practical gritty questions that will ultimately determine its fate. Furthermore, the market's reception is never guaranteed, a reality that has humbled countless innovators before. A technology's ultimate success is not solely about its impressive performance specs on a datasheet. It is a fragile alchemy of practical economics, widespread accessibility, and the deliberate creation of a supportive, self-sustaining ecosystem. History is a graveyard of superior technologies that failed this holistic test. If the flux engine remains perpetually confined to the rarefied air of ultra-luxury vehicles with six-figure price tags, its impact on the broader electric vehicle revolution will remain merely symbolic, a dazzling footnote for the wealthy rather than a transformative chapter for the masses. It would become a halo product admired from a distance, but irrelevant to the daily realities of global transportation. The true and ultimate measure of its success, therefore, will not be its power density or its efficiency in a lab, but its demonstrated ability to trickle down the economic ladder to become a genuinely viable, reliable, and affordable option for the mainstream consumer. This journey from prototype to populace is fraught with hurdles far more complex than engineering. It requires ruthless cost optimization and manufacturing, the development of a robust and ethical supply chain for its specialized materials, and the willingness of the company to prioritize volume over margin in a strategic play for market dominance. The real customer who will decide its fate is not the enthusiast buying a hypercar, but the pragmatic parent financing a family SUV, the commuter seeking an affordable sedan, and the business owner depending on a reliable commercial van. For them, the calculus is brutally simple. Does this new technology solve a real problem at a price that makes sense within the constraints of a household or business budget? Does it offer tangible day-to-day -day benefits like lower operating costs, superior reliability, or extended range that outweigh the perceived risks of adopting something novel? Until the flux engine can convincingly answer yes to that fundamental question for the millions, not the millionaires, it will remain a technological marvel in search of a world to change. Its legacy will be determined not by the applause it receives at auto shows, but by its silent, ubiquitous presence on city streets and suburban driveways everywhere.